Hello and welcome. In this video we will talk about the inputs available for the generate the surface mesh task when importing a mesh file in the ANSYS Fluent Meshing Watertight Geometry workflow. We will learn how to modify the surface mesh on selected boundaries while keeping it unchanged on others. Also, we will analyze how to add volumetric mesh refinement when starting from a surface mesh file using the import BOI task. Interested? Let's get started. When importing a mesh file into the watertight geometry workflow, we can remesh selected boundaries to coarsen or refine the local surface mesh. This makes it possible to edit an existing surface mesh even when the geometry file is not available. However, particular attention is required when coarsening the surface mesh to avoid loss of accuracy on the geometrical features. Also, the quality of a mesh refinement on curved surfaces will depend on how well the imported mesh resolved the local curvature. Let's analyze this method with an example. Launch a new session of fluent meshing and start a new watertight geometry workflow. Under import geometry, set the file format to mesh and the file units to millimeters. Then select the example file provided and click on import geometry. Here we have a concept car model. For this exercise, we will impose a local sizing on the body, the wheels, and on the windshield of the car, while leaving the original mesh sizing on the remaining boundaries. Select yes in the next task to add a local sizing. Select the car body under the labels Set a target mesh size of 30 mm and add the local sizing. Next, add the curvature local sizing and apply it to the wheels. Use a minimum size of 6 mm and a maximum size of 30 mm. Keep the other settings as default. Add another curvature sizing for the windshield. Set the minimum size to 30 mm and the maximum size to 50 mm for this case. Since we imported a mesh file instead of a CAD, the Generate the Surface Mesh Inputs panel shows a new option that lets us select which boundaries we would like to remesh. If a local sizing is added, the options available are all to remesh all the boundaries, assigned in local sizing to remesh only the boundaries with the applied local sizing, assigned in local sizing and selected to remesh the boundaries with applied local sizing and other selected boundaries. If instead no local sizings are applied, the options available will allow to remesh all boundaries, selected boundaries, or none. We will also have the option to use custom size fields and control files. Note that when all is selected, it is possible to specify global settings for proximity and curvature. For our case, let's select the second option. When remeshing boundaries, it's always a good practice to specify local sizing on them. The option Preview Assign Local Sizing lets us quickly review which boundaries have local sizing applied on them. Set the minimum size to 30 mm and the maximum size to 50 mm. Next, press Generate the Surface Mesh button. The surface mesh is recreated using triangular elements, even if the source mesh is of a different type. The mesh 
has been refined on the car body and windshield, while slightly coarsened on the wheels, compared to the source mesh. Note that any imperfection in the imported mesh, such as this one, will be retained. To resolve that, it is suggested to import the CAD geometry instead. We can see here a localized mesh refinement which indicates that a BOI sizing was used in the original mesh. Proceeding with the current settings will not generate a volume mesh refinement in the region of interest. To include a volumetric mesh refinement, there are two options available. The first is to add a BOI to the mesh. The second is to add local refinement regions. In this video, we will explore the first option. Select the first local sizing task and revert it. Next, right-click on the Import Geometry task. Go to Insert New Task and select Import Body of Influence Geometry. This task lets us add a geometry to be used for the BOI sizing. Select the BOI geometry file for this example and complete the task. Let's add a BOI sizing to the mesh. Using a mesh size of 60 mm. and once again generate the surface mesh. Select the second option in the Describe Geometry task and keep the defaults for the next two tasks. Under Add Boundary Layers, change the selection of Grow On to selected labels and choose the wheels, windshield and car body while keeping the other settings as default. Under Generate the Volume Mesh, select Fill with PolyX Core and complete the task. The overall mesh quality is good, but we can further improve it adding the improved volume mesh using a limit value of 0.3. Looking at the mesh, we can see the BOI refinement in this region. Let's recap. Upon mesh import, the Generate the Surface Mesh Task input panel allows the user to choose which boundaries of the geometry to remesh to either coarsen or refine the surface mesh locally. Existing volumetric mesh refinement in the imported mesh will not be retained. However, it is possible to use the Import BOI task or add local refinement regions to define a local volume mesh sizing. Remember that the imported mesh quality will define the accuracy on capturing geometrical details of the model. With that, we reach the end of our video.